Divine Feminine writes a letter to the Divine Masculine. For your personal situation, you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com after going through the description box properly. It has information on therapies and it has information on personal sessions. Kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me. And so let's begin. I will keep you in my eyes. I will keep you in my eyes. I will always hold you special. I will give you the highest regard. But just make a promise that you will never get separated from me. Tell me, can you make a promise like this? That you will never get separated from me? You will never go away from me? But just because you did not come, you never came, despite so much weight from my end. Now I am tired. I am getting weak. I cannot bear that you don't even remember me, that you have moved on from me. It's embarrassing to me that my faith is not as strong as I thought it would be. But you need to know that your avoidance and negligence is creating doubts in my heart and in my mind. I want to believe my intuition. I want to believe that my prayers will be heard, that my words, my prediction will come true. It won't be false. And you will also see it practically happen in front of you. And then you will never again question or feel confused. I know my faith will work. My faith is strong enough to move the mountains. I don't want to focus on the fear that the things won't be in my favor. But this feeling of helplessness in my heart is making me tired. I feel low on energy. Why can't I step up and move on? You did not come, but your love is there in my heart. My dear, I don't believe in the rituals. I don't believe in all the things that the whole world is doing. And this is how I am. If I believed in anything, then I would not have loved you the way I did. I want to wait for you, but I cannot anymore. I have to change my path. And I have to move in the direction where there is progress. Maybe what I am doing is not the right way of having faith. Maybe the way I am waiting for you, that is not the right way to have faith. This stagnancy is created by you. Don't blame me. I am tired of taking the blame. I am tired of feeling bad. I am tired of justifying your anger against me. I am tired of your helplessness. Why are you helpless? You should not be helpless. You are not in the position to be helpless. I was in the position to be helpless. I was full of lack and limitations, but not you. All you had to do was just give me your hand and I would have done everything. All I needed was that one moment of faith and trust in this relationship, in the love. What I did was, I spoke the truth in front of you. And I spoke the truth as how it was. I did not do any sugar coating. I did not do any falsifying. I said what was in my heart. If this is wrong in your eyes, all right. If you think that I did some mistake, 
by speaking the truth by giving you the facts by showing you the real picture if you think it was my fault then all right i accept my fault but i will not come after you i will not follow you i will not chase you if you think that i will spend my whole life chasing you you're wrong i will not because love is not one sided true love is not one sided if it is true it cannot be one sided maybe it was not true from your side it was true from my side so i will believe in that one side of mine and i will move on and my fear is there too and i am going to accept my fear that yes i am scared and i have fears as much as i accept that i have flaws because i want to stop feeling so sick in my heart i want to stop feeling disgusted i feel the squirming inside my skin and on my flesh and the heaviness in my heart sometimes it doesn't go when i wake up in the morning i feel this pain and i want to let this pain go and i want to surrender fully and i never ever want to think about this pain again but you know what i have to accept this pain as well i cannot ignore this pain just the way you ignored me i cannot neglect this pain just the way you neglected me i have to face it i have to embrace it i have to give it my attention and my time because i have to heal what you cannot heal you are not capable of healing i feel if you did you would have come to me you would have stood by me you would have been there for me i know now helplessness you are also helpless friends when i was downloading this letter and i was getting this download it was giving me one statement in hindi the statement was teri bhi koi majboori rahi hogi teri bhi koi majboori rahi hogi isliye ja maine tujhe maaf kiya if you translate this it means you must be also having some challenge or some reason that made you helpless so therefore i forgive you confusion guilt shame regret and the worst part is that these feelings are coming to me for doing the right things i have been face to face with people who have only done wrong things who have only been selfish who have only deceived and manipulated others but they don't have this guilt shame or regret or confusion which i have and why should i have it if you cannot come to me i will also not stay here anymore i will find a path i will go to the place where i stop feeling helpless the love will always be in my heart and so will the compassion but now i know that you are also helpless so i forgive you i will not force you to come to me i want you to be happy i want you to live your life I am tired of hearing the complaints of people about me. I thought you will be different. I thought you will not complain. But you are the same. And what did I do? I put you on a pedestal. All I wanted was to be your priority. All I wanted was to be special for you. Someone special for you, the most special person for you. but i realize that we are all here to be our own priority 
my mistake was to expect so much from you it was a wrong expectation i want to forgive you for not being there for me for abandoning me for not allowing me to be close enough with you i also want to forget you just the way you forgot me how you forgot me how easily you forgot me even i want to forget you i will not forget the love because that is who i am it is my nature to love it is my nature to be kind empathy is my second nature and you also had a problem with my empathetic nature you never understood me these are my complaints now but i don't want anyone to do anything about it i don't want you to do anything about my complaints my complaints are my complaints they shall stay with me and i will find a solution for my own complaints i will not rely on you i will not wait for the time that you will come to me and tell me or say to me that hey i am sorry i misunderstood you let's fix it because i realize that you also need fixing unfortunately or fortunately i realize you are not perfect i realize that you have your own things to deal with and how can you help me when you yourself need help i pray to god to solve your problems i pray to god to show you the right path but now i want to focus on myself no more waiting only living